Hey guys, so tonight I'm preparing myself my breakfast for tomorrow, an overnight oatmeal. So it's my first time actually to try this one. So we'll see if I'm gonna like it because usually I like my breakfast hot or warm and not cold. But we'll see how it is like. So there you go. I'm just gonna mix everything in here and then put it in the fridge overnight and it will be ready to be eaten tomorrow morning. So I'm a little bit hungry so I'm having a midnight snack. So I have here a guava fruit. I'm just gonna slice it up. But it's too big. I can't finish the whole thing or the whole guava so I'm gonna leave or save the other half but what I'm going to do is to avoid it from browning is I'm gonna rub some lemon juice on it and then store it in a box inside the fridge. So I have here a salt to dip my guava. Bon appetit! It's nice, it's, it's crunchy and I'm enjoying it. So I'm able to finish half of the whole guava. That's a big one actually. So here is my overnight oats. I'm just gonna pour this in a bowl. Have some banana slices. I have here tried blueberries and sliced almonds. Bon appetit! Just mix it. So for the taste, it's okay, but I would still prefer my oats to be warm rather than being cold actually. So in here, I got plenty of garlic, so I've decided to just store them in the freezer. So what we do is just peel the garlic and then put it in the food processor and mix it with olive oil and blend it so that we can put them inside a freezer and store them longer So I have here an ice cream mold which has a silicone bottom so it's easier for you to take the frozen stuff out from there. So we're just gonna put our minced garlic in there or the mixture, the garlic and the olive oil and then just pop in the freezer when ready. So if you are a busy person then this is a good way of doing it. And then also if madami kayong stuff then pwede yung gawin ito. Rather than mabulok yung mga bawang nyo, so you just do it this way and then they're gonna stay or they're gonna last you longer. So it's already afternoon and I'm making ourselves a snack. So I have here a pizza. So this is actually the crust is uh, store bought already. So I'm just gonna put some tomato sauce and some topping. So I'm making two versions of this. One is for my kids and one for us adults. So for the kids, I'm having ham and cheese because they're not very keen on other stuff. Like if it's got vegetables in it. But for ourselves, I'm doing tuna olives and some tomatoes in it and with cheese of course because of course you can do a pizza without a cheese right so we just finish off our toppings and then when done we're just gonna pop this pizza in the oven and bake it there until the crust becomes golden brown and crispy and the cheese has melted And for our drinks, I'm making here a shake, strawberry shake. I have here frozen strawberries. And in the bender goes 
one cup of milk i have a frozen strawberries and i have also here a frozen yogurt so i'm just gonna mix it there and also have some ice cubes a little bit of honey to sweeten of course you can also use sugar if you wish or sugar syrup then we're just going to blend it and it's ready so pour it in a glass so trying to make use of the whipped cream and then my kids love chocolate syrup so that's I'm putting some chocolate syrup in there so I'm making another one this one is banana milkshake so there's frozen bananas in there and same thing the frozen yogurt some milk and a little bit of honey and then just blend it so pour it in the glass whipped cream again as I'm trying to use this up and then chocolate syrup I could have done better with this actually using a squeeze bottle but anyway so pop in the straw and it's ready now it's yum yum time snacks time bon appetit the pizza is nice the crust is really crispy it's a thin crust and our children love it we love it and we're enjoying this pizza actually it's very light you see my son there doing a thumbs up so look at that that's how it looks mommy like. mommy nice. that's gonna be my next one okay So I have here a coffee bin that's brown coffee bins that's been used up already so I, I save them actually and then I use them as like a fertilizer for the plants so trying to make use of those stuff we actually try to make use of our waste products uh, so rather than Bring them away, we just use them for the plants. So it's my daughter helping me out. We're trying to make them you know, do some household chores. It's dinner time, so I have here some salmon. So I'm just gonna cook this in the air fryer. So I washed it and then just spot it dry with paper towel and then I use a baking sheet or baking paper spray it with oil and then salt and pepper of course And slice some lemon and top it with lemon then we're just gonna put it inside our air fryer and air fry it at 220 degrees Celsius for like 10 minutes So while waiting for that, we're gonna make a couscous salad. So I have here a chicken stock. We're just gonna let it boil. And then, but before that, we toast our couscous in a pan. So I just try to stir it or mix it. And then of course, which I almost forgot, is the olive oil. So mix it a little bit of olive oil. And when finished, just mix it with the chicken stock. And 
and then just turn off the flame or the heat and just let the couscous absorb the liquid so we just cover the pot with a lid and about 10 minutes that should be ready so meanwhile we make our dressing so i have your olive oil Dijon mustard a little bit of honey and lemon juice so we're just gonna mix it up then lemon zest salt and pepper of course and then mix 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 so after 10 minutes we're gonna flake our cost cause i mean fluff rather so we're gonna mix the dressing and save some for later later So I have here some chopped vegetables, um, cucumber, and tomatoes, and I add some raisins. Just mix it and pour the rest of the dressing and mix, mix, mix until well combined. So put in a serving bowl and it's looking good and it's yummy actually. So our salmon is ready, it's cooked already, and look at that, it's really moist, it's really juicy, and I love the way it's cooked. So bon appetit guys, it's dinner time. Kain tayo! This goose is lovely. They lights. You cook too well. They lights. You see that? Nice. So this is the guava from last night that I cut into half, and then I scrub some lemon in there, lemon juice, and if you look at it, it didn't turn dark. So the lemon juice was effective so ayan, kainin ko na siya